What's up guys, it's Kamala here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some simple tricks to outplay your opponent in Fortnite. If you're new here, don't forget to drop a like or drop a sub. Also, to support me, use credit code Kamala at Adam Shop. And without further ado, let's get in the video. What's up guys, and as you know, there's a lot of different ways to outplay your opponents in Fortnite. From the 200 IQ Mr. Savage plays, to the simple classics that get into your opponent's box. That's why today I'm going to show you guys some simple tricks to easily outplay your opponent without you even trying. The first trick I'm going to show you guys is a variation of a different trick where you place a ramp in front of your opponent's box so that if you try to take the wall and they try to build a ramp out to block you off, it wouldn't happen. But the thing with this trick is, is whenever you would place a ramp, the opponent would know what side of your box they're going to go to. So they either normally pre-edit and wait for you to come to that side, or they would just edit out as soon as you get on the side. Now the outplay to this move is, I don't know where I found it from, I just know I've seen it a long time ago. And it's to basically place two ramps. So instead of placing a ramp on one side, what you're gonna do is place a ramp on this side, and then you wanna place a ramp on another side. What this does is it have your opponent either waiting for you on the first side while you already place a ramp on the other side, and you most likely already got a hit off before he turned around. This is a really effective way, even if you have bad ping, to try to take some more walls before they even notice you taking it. As you can see from my perspective, I'm trying to pre-edit where I already see the ramp. But what I know my opponent's not actually going on that side and he went to the other side and already turned around. Now you don't have to always do it this way where you put one side and then go on the other side. You can place two ramps and go back to the original side. And I honestly think that's a really simple effective move to easily take someone's wall. Now the second trick I'm going to be showing you guys. It's a move I've done in my Hype Night video before if you guys watched it. It's a way to make your opponent not be able to build so you can get some easy shots on him. This move is going to be more effective in like an end game or a scrim where someone is more likely to box above you. Although people do box above you in just a normal match sometimes also. So firstly what you need to do is place a pyramid inside your box. Once you place a pyramid you need to edit out each wall that you have. For example I usually do the 6 square edit because it makes it lower. So you do the 6 square edit for each of them. Once that happens your opponent should come falling right down. Now what this does is. He's not going to be able to build because those are my edited walls and it's already a pyramid inside the box. So your opponent will fall down. His most immediate reaction is going to be trying to build, but you're just going to be sitting there shooting him to death. The next trick I'm going to be showing you guys is a move that I showed a while ago in my videos for high pingers, but it's still a really viable move to outplay your opponent. And it used to be used a lot in the old season to place cheeky traps to kill your opponent. So essentially what you're doing in this move is taking your opponent's flat when he thinks you're taking his pyramid. So what you have to do is you have to go on top of your opponent's box and what you're essentially doing is wall replacing his cone and his flat. But if you pay attention you can see a little white outlining like a highlight of the opponent's pyramid. But if you move it over to the corner a little bit you'll notice that the white outlining starts shining at his flat. And that's when you want to start pickaxing. Once you do that, you're not actually taking his pyramid, you're taking his flat. From the opponent's perspective, he'll think you're still taking his pyramid because he can still see his edit button. But what you did is you just took his flat and now he probably is still holding his pyramid open. Once you took his flat and he doesn't know, once you actually try to take his pyramid and if you do eventually get it, you'll be able to double edit right down into your opponent's box. As you can see from my perspective, if I'm paying attention to my cone and the opponent actually takes my floor, it still shows the edit button so it seems like I have both of them. But in fact I don't and the only thing I have left is my cone. This move would really work well for people who struggle with taking walls and high ping or just trying to outplay your opponent in general. The next move I'm going to be showing you guys is a move that I've seen done by Mongrel a lot. And it's basically the fake double edit. So what this does is when you're inside your box and an opponent is trying to get into your box or trying to wait outside to shoot you, you edit out on one side, but you don't actually go to that side. Right after you make a quick edit to the other side and that's where you would shoot your opponent. The reason this works is, is because most likely if your opponent sees you edit on one side of the box, he thinks that's where you're going to exit. But in fact, it's not. You're going to actually go back to the side where your opponent is on and then try to get an easy little shot on your opponent. The fifth trick I'm going to be showing you guys isn't necessarily an outplay, but you guys have seen this many of other times and from his thousands of highlight videos and it's Mitro. Obviously Mitro didn't make pre firing because it's been a thing before Fortnite, but I definitely think he's one of the best at it. So what I'm going to be teaching you about the pre fire is a good way to guess when to shoot at your opponent. So essentially your opponent is going to be inside of a box. They're going to be trying to make an edit 
and you're gonna be shooting at your box before they actually do the edit so by the time that they edit the shot already hits them so basically it's mostly two types of way that people are gonna edit when they're fighting in fortnite they're either gonna use their blueprint and edit out or they're just gonna edit with their weapon out most of the times if the person is gonna edit with their blueprint you can hear a noise that indicates that they're most likely gonna make an edit once you hear that noise pop up if it's a good player usually directly after that noise the box is gonna be edited so what you want to do is as soon as you hear the noise maybe like a millisecond after you're going to shoot at your opponent's wall in the direction that he is facing the reason i say shoot at his wall is because pre-firing you're shooting before you can actually see him editing out the box so it technically looks like you're shooting at his wall but it's actually going to hit him if you do it right but keep in mind that people aren't always going to be editing with your blueprint out or you're going to hear a noise just make sure you pay attention to your opponent's movement sometimes if you see them make a different type of movement most likely you're going to be editing and you have to take a guess to pre-fire anyway because at the end of the day pre-firing is basically just an educated guess of when your opponent's going to edit out on his wall and the last trick i'm going to be showing you guys is a trick that i see used a lot but this time we're going to be using a little bit of peace control to the trick so basically what you're trying to do is get a ramp inside your opponent's box the reason for it is, is because if it's a ramp in your opponent's box their immediate response is to either edit out the box or break the ramp. If they're breaking a ramp, all you have to do is take the wall in the meantime. So if they do try to edit out the side, all you have to do is place a wall on the side they're editing out of, edit it, and put a pyramid or a ramp inside. This is a really easy way for you to get a shot in your opponent or basically control how your opponent moves. The way you get the ramp in, by the way, is you have to hit your opponent's wall and pretend like you're going to take it, but instead of using a wall to take the wall, you're using a ramp. So on that second hit, don't place a wall, put a ramp instead. And, and the ramp should go right inside of the opponent's box. So guys, try to learn these tricks to get an edge on your opponent. And as well as implement your own tricks in it to make it even better. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and drop a sub. Also to support me, use creative code Kamali in item shop. It's Kamali, and I'm out.